Do you know you can be religiously manipulated? Of course, it exists. Many people suffer from religious manipulation unawares because they don't even know that such a possibility exists. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? Not all those who call on the name of the Lord or what wonders are genuine verses of God. That is why this video is coming to you so that you may know what religious manipulation is and the signs that confirm that you could have been religiously manipulated for long. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Religious manipulation is the use of religion to play on the psychology and intelligence of a person with the ultimate goal of making such a person bow to indoctrination without questioning. In simple terms, it's like using the Bible verses manipulating it to cajole people into believing false doctrines and many of those doctrines are to serve the personal gain of the preacher or the manipulator. Now that we've established that, how then will you be able to know if you've been manipulated by a so-called pastor, an apostle, or a spiritual leader or mentor? Here are the signs that you need to pay careful attention to. Number one, when you begin to idolize your religious leaders. Honoring religious leaders in itself, it's not a sin. But when you are idolizing them, you are not only being brainwashed and manipulated, you are also committing a sin. One of the basic signs of religious manipulation is when religious leaders instill in you a fear for themselves that you begin to idolize them. This is quite different from respecting and honoring the leaders, just like I rightly said. It is a dread for religious leaders to the point of worshipping them. You tremble at everything they say, you're scared of them. Remember what the scripture says, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, power and sound mind. Number two sign. When you have been prohibited to ask questions. This is another sign of religious manipulation. When you cannot ask intelligent questions that pertain to your faith and whenever you make such an attempt, you are being asked to shut up. This is a religious manipulation. It's not a design of God that you should not exercise your logic or reason with your brain. Because many people have been judged that being a Christian is an excuse for brain drain. But no, this is not right. Your brain is to be put to greater use because you are a believer. And as long as you exercise it under the leadership of God's spirit, you are right. What you're doing, it's not wrong. Paul was a lawyer who had a sound knowledge of the law. Becoming a believer did not make him stop exercising his intelligence. Rather, it put it to more productive use and it was instrumental to the spread of the gospel across regions. He was the one who questioned the church in his days on certain practices that were hindering the spread of the gospel to other regions. That was a rebellion. He questioned circumcision as a requirement for salvation. This was the major shift that had led to the pushing of the gospel to many Gentiles and guaranteed acceptance in the early church. So any attempt to bury the application of your God-given grain or question certain doctrines or certain rules or situations in your place of worship is a big sign of religious manipulation. And you know what I'm going to advise you? Run. What other signs show that you've been manipulated for long in your place of worship? Financial exploitation. Many people have made it a practice to extort money from church people in the guise of commanding God's blessings on them. I'm not against dropping an offering, sowing a seed, or paying your tithe. In honest truth, I am an hardened believer of that. But I do not allow a man of God dictate when or how I should do it. I follow my intuition which is directed by the Holy Spirit or the leading is the nudges of the Holy Spirit in me to do that. When God is laying it in my heart to do something, I do it. I don't wait when I'm controlled with a preaching or with some carefully construed Bible verses to compel me to give. If that is the case, then that is called religious manipulation. Many religious leaders will go to all lengths to make you part with your money, even if it requires them to say things that will make you feel guilty. They begin to play on your emotions, they will put pictures of the evil things that will happen to you if you do not pay some money. This is a pure sign of religious manipulation and avoiding it as early as possible is the best thing you can do. They will even go as far as preaching destruction on him, anyone who does not give abundantly. My question is, where do they see that in the scripture? Some will even go as far as selling objects of deliverance so that people can part with their money. 
selling things like anointing oil, prayer water, and the rest is a sign of religious manipulation. In as much as I believe in all these tools, I've seen time I prayed on water in my house and I got healed myself. I applied my faith and I prayed based on the scriptures. But I did not pay for the water. I did not pay man of God to pay for the water. I exercised it based on the conviction and that instruction God gave to me at that specific time. That doesn't mean God will operate the same way in the next two years with me. That is what it means to grow in grace with God. God is not static. Any man of God cannot repeatedly predict what God will do. So whenever you found yourself in such an institution where they repeatedly ask you to do the same thing, God is not monotonous that you need to flee. Remember the story of the ten virgins. You will agree that the decision of the wise virgins to not give out their oil was a tough one, but a necessary one. If it were today, people would probably tag them as evil and inconsiderate, but giving should never be done forcefully or without thought. So do not allow any manipulate you. Your giving should be to honor God and not man. Number four, sir. Wrong emphasis on prayer. I know this might be a little bit subtle for some or trivia, but please, I want you to keep listening, keep watching this video because just clicking away now will give you a biased understanding of what I want to say. Talking of wrong emphasis on prayer, as a sign of religious manipulation is when prayer is being pushed as the answer to everything. Many people spend their whole lives praying in churches for financial breakthrough without going out to work. They expect manna to fall from heaven without understanding that what God blesses is not prayer but the work of their hands. If you want to be successful, you need to find a balance. You need to be diligent as the same time be prayerful. One cannot override the other. Prayer won't provide the money to nurture your children in school. Prayer won't help you to raise your child. Prayer is not the answer to everything. But you can pray about everything. And the wisdom, the insight, or the actions God inspires in your heart to take after prayer is the answer. And the last sign is poor application of biblical truths. There are many Pharisees in the church today who do not know the truth about God's word. Yet they are hindrance to those who are committed to learning the same. We notice that biblical truths are not being preached or upheld in your religious gathering. And each time you try to share your understanding on the subject matter, they shut you down, saying you are not in the best position to determine what is scripturally right or wrong. Then I bet you, you are in the wrong place. You need to run. It is better if you excuse such gathering. As the word of God, genuine biblical truth is the backbone of your Christian faith. So as from today, you need to stop idolizing spiritual leaders. Speak up when you have questions. Avoid financial exploitation. And know when to pray and when to take action. If you are still confused about any of these things, you can watch other videos on the channel. Better still, go to God in prayer and let him direct you. Speak to you. And personally spend time reading the scriptures. Know God for who he is. Know God for yourself. And you will no longer be a victim of religious manipulation. God bless you.